Hello everyone, welcome back. So today in this video, I'm going to cover or discuss another very important query and question basically, which is about is software testing gradually dying. Now this particular statement, I was browsing through some of the questions asked over the internet and this has been asked so many times, right? So this is kind of related to is it a good career option or whether uh, or not I should choose a software testing as a career option. And this particular question or these type of statements that people make that software testing is gradually dying and it's not going to be there. The jobs will completely disappear. So this is absolutely false and wrong statement. Now software testing will always remain there. The forms or the tools, the way you are going to approach testing might be different. Okay. So even the way of approaching the testing will remain standard. There might be new things that come up, new uh, tools that come up that might help you to do testing in a different way. Okay. Now with the AI coming in, coming in picture, many people have started thinking that all of these AI testing tools that are coming nowadays are going to replace testers altogether. Everything will be automated and testing eventually will disappear. Okay. Now many companies have tried removing the testing team altogether. Okay. And when I say removing or basically not having dedicated testers in the team. So basically it was not that they were not doing or they were not doing testing. They were doing testing, but it was kind of the responsibility shifted to the developers. Now developer will develop as well as test their code, but that didn't help much because the testing mindset, I mean, a developer works with a different mindset, right? Developer codes with the mindset that their code will work or should work, right? And testers mindset is absolutely opposite. So to switch that particular mindset from development to testing and do that testing of the work that they have done themselves became really challenging, right? So eventually this whole move or shift that was done, it's again kind of, it wasn't a very, you know, successful approach. There are many companies that are trying to do this kind of approach, but this is not working at all. And the main reason is the mindset, right? You cannot context switch so easily when your role and your focus is on something else. And then again, you context switch and you absolutely start thinking in a totally different way. This analytical capability thinking, uh, the context, the tester mindset, it evolves, it develops over the period of time. It's not something which you can, you know, just straight away read a book and a logic and you are good to go ahead with, right? So that's the first and foremost reason that software testing is not gradually dying. It's not dying at all okay it is going to remain there the forms might change why I'm saying the forms might change the tools will come in picture so say for example if I talk about 15 years ago when when I was early into into the testing or 18 years ago when I was early into the testing right the tools were absolutely different okay so I used to work with the bug tracking tool bugzilla right I used to have the tool keyword driven framework, right? So that was the automation first automation framework that was developed into Java programming language. And that was used then eventually Selenium came in picture. Okay, so we switched to the Selenium and prior to Selenium, there were other tools like Windrunner. Okay, so it was, you know, HP tool, HP ALM or basically quality center QC was there. Okay, for test management or managing all your test cases and defect. So these were some of the very popular testing tools that time but the way we tested the way we thought or the approach that we applied that time absolutely holds true after 18 years of my career right still the same approach same process same thought process is being applied to think from end users perspective to make sure that you uh, go ahead and collaborate with the team now initially when i started was a waterfall and v model so there was a very phased approach right so that is where the approach has changed now 
we have started working into the agile and scrum so previously it was phased approach we used to get or we used to get involved into requirement but not up to the extent now as as we are involved now okay so now the involvement because we are following the scrum and agile development approach so the involvement of testing is a lot more so this is the shift that has happened so these kind of shifts will happen okay change will be there okay but if we say software development will completely disappear and will be taken by robots okay so chat gpt is very good ai tool that is there in the market very uh, it's, a, it's a good buzzword nowadays okay and it actually does some real good you know work so it, it provides you uh, you you can get the code written automatically from that particular ai tool but can you ask that particular chat GT, gpt ai tool to build the complete solution it might be able to at the moment the ai at the at whichever level it, it is at it might be able to give you a code snippet but then you can take that code snippet you have to test it okay whether it's working appropriately or not and then you have to again use those code snippets to build or aggregate all of that together to build the whole solution right and code snippet is not the only thing there are so many other aspects to building a complete software or solution now that's one part of building now testing is absolutely similar complexity so your chat gpt or any ai tool is not going to think for you so you have to make sure that people are there they are able to think that the testers are there they will be thinking they will be basically coming up with the scenarios what to test they will be thinking about from the end users perspective right you are not making software for the machines to consume the consume uh, the consumer will be basically the end user right and that is where whenever the consumer is an end user the testing will always remain there its forms will change there will be ai tools there will be a lot of advancement in ai that will come in picture there will be a lot of ai tools ai automation tools that will come in picture that will help you to expedite your testing process and help you to automate better but that is that doesn't mean that software testing altogether is dying or gradually dying and will eventually disappear it's not going to happen so it's absolutely you know a safe option to start with and there will be some phase shifts if say for example there are new tools come in come in picture new approach come in coming in picture you can anyways switch and move towards whichever direction the particular software testing phase or tools move on right so that's basically crux of it i hope this video was helpful thank you very much for watching